New developments today in the attack on those two oil tankers in the Middle East. The U.S. Navy releasing this video right here, middle of your screen, which appears to show an Iranian Navy boat removing an unexploded mine from one of the two ships that was attacked yesterday in the Gulf of Oman. President Trump commenting earlier today. Iran did do it, and you know they did it because you saw the boat. I guess one of the mines didn't explode, and it's probably got essentially Iran written all over it. And you saw the boat at night trying to take the mine off and successfully took the mine off the boat. Yep. And that was exposed, and that was their boat, that was them. Uh, and they didn't want the evidence left behind. I guess they don't know that we have uh, things that we can detect mm -hmm. in the dark. Fox News' national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin has more from the Pentagon tonight. Jennifer? Blake, officials say the unexploded limpet mine removed from the tanker is the same type of mine used to attack four oil tankers last month in the same area. The Secretary of State also blamed Iran for those attacks. U.S. Central Command released this photo showing what it says is the unexploded mine attached to the hull of one of the tankers attacked Thursday. This video, also released by the U.S. military, shows what it claims is proof of Iran's involvement in the attacks. Officials say this Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard fast boat were the ones to remove that unexploded mine from the hull. Iran denies it played any role in the attacks. At first, the Iranians put out a press release saying they rescued all 44 of the sailors on the two disabled tankers. U.S. officials now tell us one of the two tanker crews were in fact detained by the Iranians early Thursday morning after first being rescued by another merchant vessel. One of the crew members spoke earlier today on Iranian state television. I am from Russia. The service was excellent. They have hosted us really well. Everything is fine. Those 23 sailors detained by Iran have now been held for nearly two days against their will. The U.S. Navy says it rescued the other 21 sailors from the second oil tanker guarded by the USS Bainbridge. Those sailors on board the Japanese vessel have been treated and released back to their ship. But in another sign of rising tension, U.S. officials tell me four tugboats contracted to pull the Norwegian-owned tanker were prevented from doing so by Iranian gunboats that have surrounded the stricken tanker.